So guys, that beautiful bloom, it bloomed out even more, it opened up even more. It's huge, it's about the size of the palm of my hand. Hi friends, so it's been really cold in the mornings and I haven't been having the motivation to go outside. However, as far as um, what I've been up to, uh, I've been keeping up with some of my plants, making sure they're growing okay. But I've been busy um, getting ready for Christmas. So I made a bunch of little baby mitts, mitt ornaments snowflake ornaments and star ornaments here's a star here are some snowflakes some more mitts mittens in sparkly white and just regular white colored ones some more snowflakes so see that has some sparkles in it some more mittens mittens uh, some more mittens some hat ornaments pom-pom hats of different colors and shades and some wreath ornaments as well as some sweater ornaments or if you don't use them as ornaments you can use them as keychain um, decor as well uh, or toppers for your presents so I made an array of colors and also these can be these as well as the pom-pom hats can be um, toppers for wine bottles or sparkling apple cider and I just love the versatility of it and so if you saw in my picture I decorated my um, tree outside that looks kind of sad all the leaves have fallen off of the tree so I put my ornaments up there and it makes it colorful pretty delightful if you chance upon the tree um, if I saw that I would be super duper um, thrilled to see how cute these things are up on the tree hi friends so for the holidays I've been making ornaments so I have these Christmas tree ornaments these stockings these wreaths and now these Christmas hats and these are versatile because you can use them as an ornament or you can put them on a bottle like a wine bottle or a sparkling apple cider bottle at, and or you can just put it on different various things like a, make it as a gnome hat or on some dolls really really cute and also um, bought some jingly bells that we made some decorations with so and we got it at a pretty good price at Joann's because Joann's offers coupons as opposed to Michael's
So for dinner tonight, I'm going to see if my carrots grew well enough. And I haven't pulled any out, so let's see what they look like. Not very big, I don't think. Oh, here they are. A couple little minis. Hi friends. So I had two trays of strawberries that I propagated and I gave one tray to my sister. I'm going to call her up and see if she has room another bed for this set because I really don't need these strawberries right now and I'm currently um, trying to keep the towers of strawberries warm. Meanwhile, I did show you that I transplanted these seedlings of Kailan, Cauliflower, Mizuna, Leeks, and bok choy into this plot right here this small concrete bed and it's about four foot by four foot and that same weekend i transplanted on a friday and on monday it had been dug over at the far end over there if you could see some deep divots and then i had to go back in try to look for all the seedlings, try to salvage them, try to transplant them back into the ground. And then a couple days later, the same thing happened. So this divots a second set of divots. So these scoundrels keep going into my garden and ruining everything. Luckily, I have a few plants that are doing really well. I think those are the Napa cabbage. They're growing really quickly. But I thought they had a closed... Um, Closed type of growing um, form. Like Napa cabbage are supposed to be round and like closed up. But for some reason those are really opened up. So I'm not sure. Let me check the label. Napa. Yep, it's a slow bolt Napa. So I don't know why is it it's so open. And over there I've got the Mizuna. Those are growing really great too. Now I still have these seedlings which I may send over to my sister. I already asked her. She said yes. But I haven't driven over to her house yet. And from this batch because I grew so many plants I transplanted these elsewhere. So I sowed new seeds over here some salad let's see these are okay this is arugula astro see the little seedlings over here it hasn't grown yet but it's supposed to be lettuce over here i have several pots of green broccoli and rapini and there's supposed to be like a purple broccoli. It's been too cold so I haven't seen them sprout yet. Over here I have some let's see so the ones that I grew were these broccoli the green sprouting calabrese or calabrese the purple of Sicily cauliflower Yodfa over here in this bed and Chijimisai which are good for juicing and have a lot of nutrients very green most of all I really love this purple of Sicily isn't that gorgeous so pretty it's crazy to me how well the zinnias are still doing and look at how pretty these pots are, these vases. And these plants are still doing pretty well. Biting time as the, these sunflowers grow. I just try to stick sunflowers in as often as possible because I have so many seeds hoping that it'll feed the wildlife, the birds especially.
there's some lupin growing and some weeds unfortunately I tried to keep it weeded but they just get past hopefully those aren't weeds and those are the um, Gerbera daisies or some kind of daisy and looks like a poppy and there are my uh, what do you call this carnations or whatnot there is my California poppy and there's a bunch of some other things don't know what yet I think they're the little white daisies with a pink edging friends so it is mid-December and I still can't believe that my basil are still alive the purple basil the one that's completely purple has dried up and shriveled up lost all its leaves but here are my Persian basil and my sweet basil are doing fantastic so I'm harvesting them to make pasta tonight I forgot to say I'm harvesting a ton of um, chili peppers as well and that's quite a bit so I'm going to put a few into my pasta because I like my pasta tomatoey, basil-y, onion-y and spicy.